Edo State Governor Godwin Obaseki has boldly declared that Nigeria will always remain a single country. According to him, what the country is facing is only challenges, just like every other nation of the world. Going further, the governor praised Nigerian's ambassador to the Republic of Benin, Lieutenant General Tuko Burutai, over his role in fighting insecurity. For those agitating for a separate country, your dreams might never be fulfilled if the words of Governor Gordon Obaseki of Edo State is to be accepted. According to him, the country has come to stay no matter the situation. He disclosed this when he received visiting Nigerian's ambassador to the Republic of Benin, Lieutenant General Tuko Burutai at Government House Benin. The Guardian newspaper reports. Borutai, Nigerian's former chief of army staff between 2015 and 2021 before his latest appointment, is now Nigerian's ambassador to the Republic of Benin. Punch newspaper added, We are facing our challenges like other countries in the world, and that is why we need leaders like you who will continue to do our own bit in contributing to the harmony and unity. Going further, he praised the former army chief of staff for his role in fighting insecurity in the country, claiming that Nigeria was now building on the foundation laid by Borutai in combating insecurity. He added, the foundation you laid as chief of army staff is what we are building on today. You are here in Edo because we appreciate what you have done for this country. <laughs> this one is interesting, very, very interesting. Obaseki is praising Borutai. The reason why Borutai was sacked or the reason why they were sent, they were shown the door was because um, they were not doing anything. Service chiefs, all of them, the insecurity was rising, kidnapping day in and day out. And they were just in meetings, in and out of meetings, and Nigeria started. Well, many Nigerians, politicians, relieved these service chiefs. That was how Buhari finally gave in. At first, Buhari paid a deaf ear. He didn't even listen to what Nigerians were saying. But... He finally um, showed them the door. So it's surprising here that Obasek is actually praising to uh, to call Burutai. This is the same person. This same Burutai is the same person who is behind the travails of Sunday Buho. It was the same person that sent a letter to the Benonese government that Sunday Buho was a terrorist and he was wanted. So it really is surprising. That is the honest truth. Very surprising. Nigerians have a lot of uh, reservations for Burutai. Um, he was a former um, chief of army staff. And Obaseki is stating right now that um, um, he, he did well. So basically, Obaseki was just praising him. Brutai visited Obaseki at the government house in Benin City, Edo State. The reason for his visit uh, wasn't mentioned, however, but he was there to see Governor Gordon Obaseki. I don't know what this was in relation to, but Obaseki was just um, uh, 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 <laughs> praising him. That he's done so well. I don't know if this will be the same, if this will be coming from the people of Edo State, if they are going to share, if they are still going to be on the same page with Obaseki, like actually praising Borutai. I doubt Nigerians will be praising Borutai because we did not see what he did. He didn't do much. And for him to be calling Sunday Igbo, who is a freedom fighter, for him to be tagging him terrorists, you know, that was what even spoiled everything. Now, for you to tag this man a terrorist, that means when you were even chief of staff, you didn't know who you were looking for. You were not, you didn't know your job, your job specification, you didn't know it at all. You didn't know the description of a terrorist, who a terrorist is, how they operate, how their movement is. How can you tag Sunday Igbo a terrorist? If Sunday Igbo is a terrorist, we know that uh, um, all of the Yoruba leaders, the monarchs that have been supporting him, speaking for him, that have been uh, rallying around him, Several meetings they've been holding. Oni of Ife set up a committee on what they can do during one of the hearings in uh, the, the courts in um, Kotonu. Ulubadon sent a representative. Some of the monarchs went there. Obasanjo even went as well to speak with the, um, the authorities there to see what can be done for Sunday Bo. So Sunday Bo has been getting a lot of support. I don't believe that if Sunday Bo um, has some, all of these shady deals they're talking about, if he's really a terrorist, that these guys will be sticking out to their neck because if you are vouching for someone, if you are speaking for someone, it means that um, you actually uh, accept or agree or share in whatever they believe and whatever they practice. So if it's a terrorist, that means um, they are stating that the only of all of these monarchs, 
they appreciate the fact that um, Sunday Boho is a terrorist. Very surprising, but um, Obaseki here, surprisingly, uh, was just appreciating the chief of army staff. His tenure was between 2015 and 2021. You know, that was when, it was last year, Nigerians started making the call, 2020. Show this guy the way out, send him out, but Buhari um, did not uh, listen. But he finally bowed to the pressure and uh, showed them the way out. All of them, um, the ones that have reached their retirement age, including the former Inspector General of Police, Adamu, they were all sent away. Uh, it, it's very correct, Obaseki, what Obaseki stated regarding this one, which is that uh, we are facing challenges like other countries. That is correct. Every country has their own challenge. No country is free from challenges, but they are managing it differently. Is the way they manage it that is what matters and i don't think president Mohammed buhari is actually managing what we are dealing with insecurities like the major thing we are dealing with people can't travel even in obaseki state it was that was where we lost someone a couple of days ago Moyele Shouri. this is as a result of insecurity he was just on the motorway traveling on his own and now the, the commissioner of police in edo state uh, when he was uh, giving his statement said that uh, shori's brother was just a victim of circumstance when we know it's the government's fault not to secure our environment, our communities, our communities are not safe. They are not safe. So for Obaseki to be stating that um, Burutai really did a lot and is what Burutai left behind that the people are building on. I know this is going to raise um, a lot of reaction. He's already started raising reactions. People are already stating that um, they don't agree with what Obaseki is stating, that I um, hope um, he's not playing politics here. Burutai was never... He, <laughs> insecurity but retired fought insecurity no way he did not he didn't do it that uh, the way he uh, Baseki put it that uh, he praised the former chief of staff for his role in fighting insecurity in the country claiming that nigeria was now building on the foundation laid by Burutai in combating insecurity these guys there was nothing they didn't build there was no foundation nothing because it looks like we're still in school. we have not moved if we have moved we'll say okay we've moved uh, uh we're advancing we have not moved anywhere. The same Boko Haram they are talking about that they are capturing. The same Boko Haram they are integrating them into the system, releasing them. What are, who are they deceiving? Who are they deceiving? It was Castina, uh, Buhari's hometown that they were telling him that stop this, this uh, hide and seek game you are playing. Stop it. We don't want it anymore. Stop it. Well, guys, uh, leave us your own take. Let's hear what you think. Um, um, two things about Seki stated that. Uh, Regarding successionists, um, those who are thinking that the country is going to break, that um, Nigeria has come to stay. We know everyone is praying for that one, but it's under a good atmosphere, under a good condition that um, the country will stay. And it was also praising Burita. Thank you once again, guys. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, click on the like button. If it's your first time, you're very welcome. Hit on the subscribe button. God bless you. So, like, come your way, ignore more updates. Bye.